Hey guys, it's the Crafter1263 here, and today I'm just going to show you guys how to make a washing machine for your doll. So what you'll need is a cardboard box, which I am using this Masterpiece Jigsaw Puzzle Glue box. And make sure that it's fairly small, I'll compare it to the size of my hand. As you can see, that's a pretty small box. So make sure the box is really small. Then you'll need some colored construction paper. It can be any color, but today I'm going to be using blue. You'll need some scissors. Um, a random piece of cardboard. Let's see here. A pen. Some white foam. And a gun. Sorry. So let's get started. So first you're going to start off by opening the top of your box and you're just going to cut off those two tabs that are hanging off the side. Just do that. Okay. So those are going to just set to the side. Then, I'm just going to close that back up. Then you're going to take your Then you're just going to take your construction paper and your box, and you're going to lay your box on top of your construction paper. And then you're going to take your pen or pencil, and it's going to trace around your box. But you just pretty much have to mark how wide it is. Then you're just going to take your scissors and just going to cut that shape out. But I just marked how wide it is because you will be needing more than just that piece. So now you're going to take your glue. So I'm going to be using hot glue because it's just easier and quicker. Plus, I have to leave soon. So, I would recommend using glue stick, but it really doesn't matter. So, just glue that on. And as you can see, um, this is just a quicker process because I just marked how wide it is and just cut down a straight line. And then As you can see, um, it wasn't really, like, big enough, but that's okay, because you can just take some more construction paper and cover that up, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Then you're going to take your box and put it on, like, lay it on there, standing up, and you're going to trace that square shape, because you will need to cover a little lid. I'm going to just take your scissors and cut that out. Then just make sure that's big enough, and mine is, and just, just glue that on. Okay. So once you're done, it should look something like this. Actually glued everything on. And this part really doesn't matter. If you want to cover, you can, but as you can see, you're going to be tucking it inside of there. So, yeah. Now it's time to put the backboard on. I'm just going to be using this random piece of cardboard. I'm just going to measure it. I'm going to cut it out. Done. You're going to take your pen or your pencil, whatever you want to use, or maybe even a sharpie, and you're going to draw like the little dials and everything on there. And then, if you want to, you can take some foam and you can cut out a little triangle and glue it on so it's like that little dial turner thing. I'm not going to be doing that. 
And I just want to take my scissors really quick and cut off some of the sides. Just like that. Some of the extra. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it to the back of the washing machine. Just do that really quick. Okay. So this is I just do something like this. And you can see, you can see the little dials and everything. Um, this I'm just going to cover up really quick. easy process going on here. So, okay, so that it should look something like this. And if you guys want to, sorry, um, you guys can also um draw a little circle on there. So kind of like the inside of the washing machine where you like open and close it. Or this can be dryer. It can be any type. And you can even cut that out and maybe tape it on so it can open and close. But mine's one of those really old ones. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember to subscribe. And sorry that this video is very long. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.